Now, when you look at any requirement, other than the core functionality, you should always look for quality attributes. So what are quality attributes? These are also called as non-functional requirements. Non-functional requirements or quality attributes define the criteria that are used to evaluate the whole system. Some of the examples of these quality attributes are availability, scalability, and others. If you look at the wiki link of quality attribute, there is a whole set of list of quality attributes as shown on the screen. Now, going back to the AutoCAD uh, case study requirement, let's find the quality attributes. Now, read through the case study again and think what are the quality attributes that you think should be applicable. Look at the requirement again and see what phrases and requirements you think grabs your attention as an architect. So at this time, I suggest to pause this video for a few minutes and try and find the quality attributes from the AutoCAD use cases. Always remember, at the end of the day, the architecture artifacts that you as an architect comes up with has no right or wrong answer. In real life scenario, the initial list of quality attributes get refined as you discuss more with the customer and business team. Okay, so hopefully you have found some quality attributes. Let me discuss my finding and then let's compare. The first attribute is uh, it should be availability. As you see, it's mentioned in the use case that the application need to be up 24 by 7. So this is one of the aspects that you need to consider as you start designing the application or start architecting the application. The application should be available. It should be available 24 by 7. So let's go on. Uh, the next, we see a, a requirement that, uh, you know, the AutoCAD demand is high. Uh, they will start off small, but uh, eventually they predict a high demand. So the application should be scalable, right? I mean, that shows that the application has to be scalable. Security is another quality attribute. So as you can see from the requirement that transactions like payment uh, need to be conducted in a secured manner. Auditability is another quality attribute. As a transaction need to be audited. So that's another quality attributes that we need to consider while architecting the application. And um, lastly, the requirement says that it needs to be simple. So usability is another quality attribute that you need to consider as an architect while architecting the system or while building the system. One of the interesting aspect of quality attribute is how you rank or prioritize the different attributes that you have identified. How to rank these quality attributes? Now, usually the ranking depends on the perspective of whom you are talking to. Now, if you are talking to a customer, usually for a customer of your application, the usability is the first in the list. For a customer, the usability or the ease of using the application is even higher rank than security of the application. As an architect, you are talking to a security a team of your organization, chances are that he may rank security as most high uh, than the usability. So it all the ranking of this quality attributes depends on to whom you're talking. So as an architect, as you talk to different people, different stakeholders, it's very important that while you architect and model the solution, you keep a fine balance between these different quality attributes. So from the next video onwards, you will see how the quality attributes are used as we start modeling the architecture diagram. Thank you.